we find ourselves in interesting times in America right now. For you see, the president-elect said that he was going to make America great again, which would mean by implication that America is not great. So there must be those who are thinking that these are dark days and the days will get better. Now, of course, there are those who are fearful of a Trump presidency and say that the days are going to get darker. In either case, we find ourselves at a place where we have to tell ourselves stories. Stories about what will be, what can be, what we envision happening. And we have a choice, darkness or light. It's going to get darker or the light's going to return. And it's appropriate we do it in this season. In the church, we call it Advent. It is the season right before the longest night of the year when we believe that the light is going to be born. Granted, the light returns regardless of what we believe. That's the way of the world. But how we orient ourselves to these things is vital. Fifty years ago, our nation found itself in dark times with African-Americans struggling for some basic civil rights. And the leader of that cause, the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, understood that it was more than just fighting for rights for individuals. It was about the story that is told. And he had the vision to see, in those dark times, the emergence of what he called the beloved community. And in the midst of the struggles, the beloved community sang. And the beloved community held forth hope in the face of terrible oppression and held forth peace and nonviolence in the face of violence because of the story that they told. We look at the scripture for today, Jesus saying to the one who's questioning, are you the Messiah? He says, I am the one who is speaking to you. What does that mean? It means I am. This one who is speaking to you is the Messiah. And it means it by implication, by understanding the story, the story that God spoke God's name as the great I am. God's name is a name that can't be contained. And Jesus is saying, yes, you may see that in me. The question for all of us is, how do we make that real in our lives? How are we, the small I am, standing in the face of the great I am? What story will we tell ourselves to inspire ourselves, to bring hope, to see emerging, even out of the darkness, the great light of the beloved community?